the kids would be outside playing and they would tease us, oh you're doing this, you're not gonna get the work, you're not gonna and we just rehearsed every day. We the first, we the first, we the, oh, yeah, all right, look, it's been a long time, it's been a long time, you know what I'm saying, it's been a while since, I, since I've updated you lot on my free forms, you know what I'm saying, like, I'm a bureau, I've been busy, I've been working on my hair, you know what I'm saying, go stream, pay the fee as well, go stream, pay the fee, you know what I'm saying, it's playing in the background, it's on mute right now, go stream that, you know what I'm saying, link's gonna be in the description, but hey, Today, we back with another freeform video now. Listen, as you can see, my hair's gone relatively longer, I'm gonna be honest with you, like, look at it, like. If you go down to my other video, you'll see the progress, you'll see the difference, you know what I'm saying? Before, my, head was, my hair wasn't even hanging. My hair was standing and wasn't hanging. Now my hair is hanging now. I just came, to, I just went to the barbers today. I went to cut my hair, as you can see. Trim looking crispy, yeah. Now I got a clip in my hair just to pick it up a bit. Just to show you a lot of the lineup, you know what I'm saying? Now I'm at the stage of my hair where I went to the barbers and I can actually put my hair in a ponytail. Come a long way, I'm gonna be honest with you now. I'm gonna tell you one thing before we get in this video. It's a process, okay? It's not gonna be overnight. You know what I'm saying? Like this this process is not gonna be overnight. Now, I'm gonna get straight into this video. I'm not gonna even waste your time like other people do. Now listen. You only need four things. You need like four, maybe five different things, I'm telling you. And you ain't gonna spend less than 10. You're not gonna spend less than 10. I, go, and I, I see some YouTubers telling you, you need this, you need this, you need this, you need this. They go, you spending like 50 on your free forms. You don't need that. Listen, I'm gonna tell you this. If you need, if, as soon as you wanna start free forms, you only need a bit of hair. You know what I'm saying? Just, just, just a small bit, like maybe, maybe just up to like here. You know what I'm saying? Just, a, just a little cool little taper. You don't need too much hair, and you can't really start when you're too low, just cause your hair needs to actually have time to grow. You know what I'm saying? You can't start from the roots. Now, the four things that you need, the only four things you need. One, a hair sponge. Now, I got people telling me, yo. It's not set, it's not free forms. These, these ain't real free forms. They're semi free forms. They're semi free forms. Firstly, I'm gonna let you know now. They're free forms. You're talking about semi, like full free forms, like all these, like, well, bro, they're free forms, okay? Now, you're only gonna need a sponge. That's one. Olive oil, you're gonna need the olive oil, but I got holding spray. Now, the reason I got holding spray was because. I wanted my hair to stand up like a month ago or like two months ago. I didn't want my hair to drop. So I just wanted it to stand up. So I got holding spray so my hair could stick out a bit. Now I just let my hair drop because it's at a stage where I can't do nothing about it no more. I can't stop it from like hanging. It's just gonna fall. There's nothing I can do any about it anymore. So I just let it drop now. But this is item number two. Iron number three is a brush. This ain't necessary, but this is just to brush the sides, you know, like. You don't need it because you're gonna get a haircut. You're gonna, gonna cut off the sides anyway, so it's not necessary. Now oh, wait, let me, even, let me even take this off. Just so you look and see properly, you know what I'm saying? As you can see, big difference, you know what I'm saying? Big difference. I can shake my, you know what I'm saying? Shake your dress, shake your, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I can do that. Now, this is the third item. This ain't necessary as well, but this is just so your hair can lock up faster. Now, when I bought this, as you can see, $3.99, probably gonna be maybe like $5.99 now, it's not too bad now. The reason I like this is because this ain't like proper cream. It's like, it's kind of like, it's cream. It's not like real gel, like it's, it's not thick at all. It's literally like a hair cream, like a, like a body cream. So it's so thin that it's not gonna, add build up to your hair, it's all, it's, it's all good, yeah? Last item is a comb, now I only use this just so I can pick up my hair. So, I just put it in, stand up, you know what I'm saying, literally. Now, let me take you step by step. 
to how to get a free form dress, yeah? First thing you gotta do is wash out your hair. Now, I've only had a detox like once since I got free forms, like, like a real detox. Like I've washed my hair quite a few times, but I've only had a real detox like once. You know what I'm saying? First thing you wanna do is wash your hair with shampoo. Wash it, wash it, wash it. Now the reason I'm saying this is because as soon as you start free forms, you're not gonna wash your hair again. Like you're gonna wash your hair, but you can't wash it as frequently every day like you used to. You're gonna have to wash it like maybe once, maybe maybe once a week, maybe once every two weeks. When I started, I was wash I didn't wash it. I was washing it like once a month, and that was so my hair could actually lock up. Because as soon as you wash your hair, your hair's just gonna get soft. Your hair's gonna turn back into an afro. So cool. What you're gonna do is wash your hair, wash it out, wash it out. Cool. Now you're about to start. Get this. I'ma demonstrate just because, but I don't need this no more. Literally, you can see it's full. Like, I stopped using it a long time ago. But cool, you get this. It's called Shea, Shea Miracle Twist and Lock Smoothie, as you can see. I've shown you this on the other video, but I'ma show you again. I'ma charge up the link below, but I recommend you to just go into the shop, into the hair shop and buy it. Now you need like maybe this much. I need this much. You probably need less when you're just starting, but cool. Do that. Just you cream it into your hair and literally just massage it into your scalp. Like literally just massage it in. You know what I'm saying? Now this is an updated one. So now I can actually massage it into my individual locks. Like I can actually start pulling it, put, like creaming it in. But when you started, you just wanna, you know what I'm saying? Just rub it in like a normal hair cream, yeah? And, sh and straight after that, I'm not sure, I probably got some white stuff. Well, come out, pause, 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 pause. Hey, right. forget I said that. Now, after you've done this, get the hair sponge. And now, I like that, I like that my hanging dread, my longest dread. So, anytime I'm sponging my hair, I just pull it. I, I do the rest and I literally just sponge it in a circular motion. Yeah? Just get it in a circular motion. Now, I'm gonna recommend you this. When you're starting to get free forms, you need to sponge your hair at least, at least five minutes a day. Five minutes. Now, I don't have to, I can wake up in the morning, I don't even have to sponge my hair. Like, my hair is good now. But you need to do at least five minutes. That's literally, wake up in the morning, keep going, keep going, keep going. Throughout the day as well, throughout the day as well. As you can see also, I've moved into my new place as well my new accommodation for this year. You know, I'm still in uni last year though. Then we lit, but anyway, yeah. So you sponge it. Throughout the day, you also want to sponge your hair. You want to sponge your hair for a total of at least 10 minutes per day. So that's like five minutes in the morning, then just sponging it throughout the, the whole day. What also helps is, if you're just sitting down watching TV or whatnot, you ain't got your sponge with you. Literally just pull on your hair and just twist it. Just twist it, literally. That's what I was doing. Just pull it, twist it. Just twist it, just twist it, literally. Not too much, just soft twist it, you know what I'm saying? Now, after you sponge your hair in the morning throughout the whole day, the cream, I'd advise you to use it like maybe once, maybe twice a week. What you really wanna use is olive oil. Now, olive oil, you can get from anywhere. You can get from the shop. It's not a special type of olive oil. Literally, extra virgin olive oil. We all know what that is. Pour some in your, I ain't, got, I ain't got any with me, so I can't even show you. But just pour a little bit. You know when it's too much, you know what I'm saying? Just pour it into your hand, cream it in. Cause obviously your hair needs to be like oil, like not oily, but it needs to be rich in oil. Do you get? Because you got dreads, your hair's gonna be very dry because you're not gonna be able to wash it and you're not gonna be able to do much to it. Oil helps keep your hair healthy. Yeah, you can't use this every day. You can't, because your hair is just gonna get, it's gonna have so much build up. Oh my God. Listen, the first time I washed my hair, I wish I could show you how it looked. You don't wanna see how it looked and you don't want that build up to be there. I'm promising you now, so do not do that. Now I use this. This is still olive oil though, so it still does, it's basically a two in one. It holds my hair and it's olive oil. What I do, I kind of drop my hair let me even move back, let me so I can show you what I do. I basically just... I 
Literally, that's what I do. Literally just spray it in my hair. Sponge it again. And yeah. But this is that's for the mature dread audience, you know what I'm saying? This is for the people that have that have free form dreads as we speak right now. Literally just hold your hair, it just holds your hair in place and makes it look better. And it's olive oil, so it keeps your hair rich in oil. So I'ma say just use this as well. Do that every single day. And one thing I'ma tell you, I said at the start, this is a marathon and not a sprint. Listen, hey, I forgot to tell you, look. I went to the barber today. I told them next time I get a haircut, I'm trying to get a low taper fade. Now, what I got right now is a mid taper fade. I'm telling you lots, make sure you get a mid taper fade or a low taper fade. The reason I'm telling you this is because you do not want a high top. You don't want a high taper fade. You do not want a skin fade, no type of skin fade, no nothing. I'm telling you, low taper fade or mid taper fade. Because when, if you get a high top, and you start doing your free forms from a hair top and you want to change it into dreads and your haircut is looking like and your and your, and your dreads are starting from like the hair and it's looking like i don't know who's got who's got hair top and you've got dreads someone like ddg you don't want them type of dreads only because it looks nicer this way and yeah you, you number one you're gonna have more dreads number two because the fade starts lower it just looks better you know what i'm saying you don't look bold on your sides no, because many people have been asking me what haircut you got, what haircut you get, what haircut you get. It's a mid taper fade. But right now I'm changing it to a low taper fade. So I say get a low from now, really and truly. Don't 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 make the mistake I made. But yeah man, let's get straight back into this video. There's so many people I've tried to help get free form dreads. And do you see the reason I got these free form dreads? See the reason I got dreads in the first place was because it's just so different. Yeah, like I could easily have just got normal dreads, but I just didn't want to do that because everyone had it and it keeps me, it differentiates me from the crowd. Like when everyone sees me, you can't really, it's hard to see another person with free from dreads, very hard. So it kind of stands you, it, it keeps you unique from everyone else, you know what I'm saying? Like, but anyway, one thing I'm gonna say is a marathon, not a sprint. When I tell you, do not give up. There's going to be times when you're going to feel like you want to just give up just because it's not working out for you. I'm telling you, keep on going. There were so many times I felt so bummy. Everyone has the bummy stage. I'm telling you, everyone knows about the bummy stage. Everyone knows about the bummy stage, yeah? The bummy stage is where your hair is not really locked up yet. You ain't even got a haircut. You don't even look nice. People probably making fun of you thinking this and that. Listen, it will be all right. Now, I don't even have a bummy stage. Like even when my hair grows out, I still look all right. Now I be I be doing my own shape ups anyway, so I don't. Sometimes I don't even have to go to the barbers. I can just do my own shape ups. But I'm telling you, keep on just sponging your hair. Stay consistent. Don't let the don't let the free forms open up again. Don't let your hair go back to normal because you're just gonna restart the process. Wash your hair. I advise you to wash your hair once every two weeks. If your hair's too dirty, you're gonna have to wash it way more than that. But try to keep your hair healthy. What I was doing was that I was sleeping with a bonnet. You sleep with a bonnet, not a do-rag, a bonnet. Put a bonnet over your head in the night and go to sleep. Wake up in the morning, take it off. Treat your hair, you know what I'm saying? Don't wear your hair in the shower, only on wash days. So literally just stick to a routine. If you want to do it every two weeks, just say cool. Every two weeks on a Friday in the morning, I'm going to wash my hair. Make sure you wash it every single, every two weeks. Me, I didn't stick to that. I didn't really have, I just washed it when I felt like it because I knew my hair smelled nice all the time. It looked good. So I didn't really have to. Now, I ain't got to wash, I mean, I, I ain't got, I, I don't have to wash my hair, but I wash it when I feel like it because my hair is so locked up now that I can do anything to it. One thing I do hate in the rain, <laughs> when I tell you, your hair collects so much water. In the, if I pour water on my hair right now and I do this, I can make art. If you put, <laughs> hey, you know what Willow Smith done back in that, back in the days, you know, I whip my hair. Listen, I can put my hair in paint, do that. And I can sh and I can make you an art project, literally. But hey, listen, 
I don't want to make the video too long. That's literally it. That's how to get free from dreads. It's easy as A, B, C. It's not hard. I'm going to just summarize it for you right now if you just don't understand what I said, yeah? If you don't understand, if you just want a quick summary. Wash your hair when you start. Put this in your hair. Put a cream in your hair. Put it into your hair. Sponge your hair. Done. Sponge your hair every single day for like 10 minutes a day. Done. I'm telling you in a year, this took me like maybe a year and six months to get, maybe like a year and a half, a year and a bit. And look at how it looks. You're gonna think, there was times I was thinking, yeah, my hair's not gonna grow. And look at it now. When you take pictures, make sure you take pictures of yourself for, for um, free form updates. Because when you take pictures of yourself every month, you will see the progress yourself. If you look in the mirror every day, you won't see nothing, and then it'll, it'll start playing with your mind. But if you take a video or a picture every single month, you'll see the progress yourself, I'm telling you. But yeah, man, that's the end of the video. If you want this, if you want the hang, because people to ask me as well, how do you get the hang? Now, what I did was that when my free phones were still very early on, what I would do was that I would pull one strand of my free form. I'd pull it downwards and literally just get a clip and just do that. And I'll just let it hang. And over time, it just got used to, to, to hanging. So it stopped standing up. So now I've got this one free form that just always hangs. But yeah, man, that's literally it. I hope you enjoyed this video. Here's my free form update on the tutorial and my free form update actually. As you can see, look, 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 you know what I'm saying? Like, bro, the free forms are healthy. Very, very healthy. I take care of my shit. But hey, if you enjoyed the video, give it a thumbs up. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe for more content. Ain't gotta be free form. I do every type of content. But yeah, I'ma see you in the next video. We out.